Guys, I hate to say it, but there's some serious downside to going on keto and IF. I hate to break the news to you. So let's just kind of go to the list. Number one, it's very, very expensive because you have to buy an entire new wardrobe because everything's going to just hang off you and your, the clothes are going to be too big. So that is expensive. You're going to also have to buy more organic food, higher quality food, and that is expensive too. But on the other hand, you're going to do intermittent fasting, so you're not going to eat as frequently. So you will save some money with that, probably about $600 a month. Uh, number two, your friends are going to be very jealous of your weight loss, okay, and your new youthful appearance. That is the situation. Number three, it's going to be very difficult to figure out what to do with all this energy. This is a huge problem. Number four, people will look, look at you kind of weird when you're going through the checkout line at the grocery store with all these eggs and the kale. They'll say weird comments like, oh, is it, is it is Easter coming early? What are you going to do with all that kale? Or you're at a restaurant and you're going to reject the bread. They're going to take it personally and look at you kind of weird. Um, or if you're out for breakfast and they you don't want the toast, another, another weird look you're going to get with that. Number five, it is going to be difficult to socialize with friends because a lot of your friends, um, everything revolves around food. So everywhere you go, it'll be in your face. So that is going to be a situation. You may need to adopt new friends. Okay. All right. Number six, you could end up with what's called transitional symptoms. Okay. A little more fatigue, a, a keto flu, keto rash possibly. But that mainly happens if you're not doing the healthy version of keto. If you're doing it correctly, you can pretty much avoid those symptoms. But you really see those symptoms when you're doing something like a classical keto, where you're actually not looking at the quality of food, you're just dropping your carbohydrates. These can be avoided, um, but typically you may have symptoms for three days, and that could be a big problem. Okay, number seven, you will not be appreciated by the food manufacturing companies anymore, and the drug companies are not going to like you. So it has huge drawbacks from that alone. Now let's flip to the downside of doing a high carbohydrate diet, okay? It's also going to be expensive because you're going to have to buy new clothes. But in this case, it's going to be bigger clothes because you can't fit into the old clothes anymore. Very expensive. You're going to have to buy a lot more food because you're eating six times a day, all the snacks. Number three, uh, you're going to have to pay for expensive medications and more insurance because you're going to have diabetes. And that's very expensive with all the medications. You'll be on cholesterol medication. You'll be on high blood pressure medication and many other medications related to the high sugar. Number four, you'll be at risk for heart disease, coronary heart disease, because you'll have clogged arteries, diabetic retinopathy. You'll have cataracts, glaucoma, all symptoms of high sugar, which is carbohydrates, kidney disease, dementia, Alzheimer's, loss of memory eventually, a lot of nerve problems, peripheral neuropathies. Number five, you'll be a lot more irritable and grouchy because of the highs and lows of the blood sugars. Number six, you're going to be tired all the time. You're going to need to take a nap because you're peeing all night, not able to sleep, and you have that sleep apnea machine on your face, which is basically preventing you from getting a high quality sleep. Number seven, you will be bloated all the time after you eat, but on a positive note, your doctors are going to be able to stay in business because of you. And also the food manufacturing companies will just simply love you. All right, guys, there you have it in a nutshell. Go ahead and comment down below to tell me which diet you would prefer to do. Hey, so if you haven't done so, please press subscribe now. That way you can be aware of all the new content that I'm putting out on a regular basis.